to Good Hope Christian Center. We're so grateful that you've joined us right here during our fasting and prayer, which is entitled Making History. We're making history in the city of Cape Town, in our church, and in South Africa for Jesus. Amen. Jesus for Cape Town and Cape Town for Jesus. So right there where you are, you can stand up if you're at home. If you're listening on your cell phone, pay extra attention because we're about to pray and step into the presence of God as we praise and worship Him. So come on, just join us in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. And we thank you, God, that you are great and that you are glorious, that there's absolutely no one like you, God. So even as we come and lift our praises to you, Father, we come with grateful hearts, with thankful hearts, stepping into your presence and knowing, God, as you are magnified, glorified in our hearts and in our lives, that, God, you be lifted up and that all men be drawn unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. So what are you turning to wine? You open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. There's none like you. And we declare that into the darkness you shine. And out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. There's none like you. Come and lift your voice, declare our God. And our God is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Our God, our God, our God. Come on, you might as well get excited this evening right there where you are. Because our God is good and he's great, amen. Come on, we lift our voices and say, into the darkness you shine. Into the darkness you shine Out of the ashes, God Out of the ashes we rise We declare there's no one like you None like you There's none like you One more time, our God is greater Here we go Our God is greater Our God is stronger God, you are higher than any other Our God is healer Awesome in power, our God. He's our God. He's our God. Our God is greater, and our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Yes, our God is healer. Awesome in power, our God. Our God. stop us and if our God is with us then what can stand against and if our God is for us then who could ever stop us and if our God is with us then what can stand against come on declare one more time what can stand then what can stand against Oh, what can stand against 
against you, God. What could stand against you, Jesus? You alone reign and you rule. Father, we come to know you and worship you. Come on, our God is mighty. Our God is strong. Our God is great. He's glorious. Nothing can stop him. In fact, nothing is impossible with our God. And as we begin to step into the presence of the Lord and just side with Jesus in this place, we know that our God reigns. Amen. Our God reigns. Come on, Lord Jesus, lift your voice. Come on, we sing. Say. Oh, 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 oh. Our God is great and glorious. We put our trust in your name, Jesus. Come on. He's able to save and deliver us. We put, oh, we put our hope in your name, Jesus. Come on, sing blessing. Blessing and honor, glory and power unto our God forever and ever all of the honor all of the praise is yours it's yours it's yours oh here we go Come on, we declare our God is mighty. Our God is mighty and marvelous. Oh, we put our trust, we put our trust in your name, Jesus. Come on, we declare there's nothing to fear. Nothing to fear, you are here with us. Cause we put our hope, we put our hope in your name. One more time, declare blessing and honor. Blessing and honor, glory and power unto our God. Forever and ever, all of the honor, all of the praise. It's yours, yours forever.
God reigns and he rules in this place. Jesus is Lord of all. Amen. He's the King of kings and the Lord of lords and the ruler of our hearts. Amen. Come on. He's the one that gives us life. He's the one that gives us breath. He's the one that is there in the morning and sharing new mercies every day. And he has never given up on you. He's never given up on me. Come on. So right there where you are, just raise your hands to Jesus in this place. We worship you, God. You're so worthy, you're so worthy, you're so worthy. You're the giver of life.
We worship Lama Kemante Leboshi and Mamma Ekama Lendelaraboshi and Dandelarabos and Dalaraboshia Kemamanda Lava Baba Bobosi and Kemama and Dandelaraboshia Mandelarabosia who will come here all a mashi and then the Tebosia Holy Spirit and Tandarabashi and Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, la mama, mo bo bo sa ye kama yentenda la bo sienda. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Lendende le le bo sia. Kema mandenda lo 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 bo sa ke endende le bo sia. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Lendanda ya ba 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 ba. We worship you, Lord. There's none like you, Lord. There's none like you, Lord. We worship you. There's none like you, Lord. There's none like you, Jesus. None like you, Lord. There's none like you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In this place, Lord. Thank you, Spirit of Living God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord. Jesus, 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 in this place, Jesus, Spirit of living God, in this place, Jesus, Jesus, you're worth the Lord, you're worth it, you're worth the Lord, and we give glory to your name, Jesus, 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 in this place, Jesus, oh, say the name of Jesus, Jesus, the name of Jesus, Jesus, Say the name of Jesus, 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 in this place. Jesus, Jesus, the name of Jesus, Jesus. Say the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, in this place. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We worship your name. Oh, we worship your name. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Jesus, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your praise in this place, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And as we continue to pray this day, day seven, <laughs> number seven itself has a significance when we look at the word of God. And today, 
we are praying about something that every believer, every Christian, every child of God should desire the gift of the Holy Spirit. The gift of the Holy Spirit. You see, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, before he went to heaven to sit at the right hand of the Father, he spoke and he said, nevertheless, that was in John chapter 16 from verse 7, and Jesus spoke and he said, nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, you see, that's the promise that Jesus made. That if he had not gone to be seated at the right hand of the Father, we would not have the Holy Spirit. But he said it is to your advantage that I go to the Father so that I can send the Holy Spirit. In other passage of scripture, Jesus says, I will not leave you as orphans, but I will come to you. And he was speaking about the Holy Spirit. In John 14, 26, Jesus also speaks and he says to the disciples, the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you of all things and he will bring to your remembrance all that I have said, every word that Jesus had spoken to the disciples, every word that Jesus speaks to us in the midnight when we pray, when we read the word of God, the Holy Spirit brings to remembrance. So every Christian, every child of God saved, you ought to have this gift of the Holy Spirit. And as we pray today in this place, in your home, as you're watching online, in your workplace, as you're watching online, I'm here to declare that today the Holy Spirit is going to visit your place. And he's going to fill your house. The presence of the Lord is going to fill your workplace. God is going to touch lives. And they will be burst in tongues. As written in Joel chapter 2. That the Lord will pour out his spirit in the last days. God is pouring out his spirit today. In Jesus name. And our core scripture today. If we can take a quick look. Thank you Jesus. First Peter chapter 10. Chapter 1 verse 10 and 11 and the word of God reads of this salvation the prophets have inquired and searched carefully who prophesied of the grace that would come to you searching what or what manner of time the spirit of Christ who was in them was indicating to them it was indicating, sorry, when he testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glories that would follow. As we pray today in Jesus' name, we thank you for your word, Father. We thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit because Jesus, you said, if you would not go, you would not send him but because you went to the Father, you sent the Holy Spirit. And we thank you today that in the name of Jesus Christ, the Spirit of the Lord was sent to teach us and to remind us of the word of the Lord. And Jesus, every word that Jesus taught, every word that Jesus speaks, he reminds us and we thank you that we will not forget the word of God because the Holy Spirit will bring to remembrance every word that was spoken to us, every word that we study, every word that Jesus ministers every day and every night. We thank you that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in your word, Father,
Father, you speak, Father, First Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16, and you say, do you not know that your bodies are the temples of God and that the Holy Spirit of God dwells in you? We thank you that, Father, we are the temple of God as a church, Lord, as individuals born again, saved in Christ. We thank you that we are the temple of God and that the Spirit of the Lord dwells in us. And when he is in us, the Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ, he brings to remembrance the word of God. He teaches us the secrets of the things of God. He teaches us the deep things of the secrets of God. And we thank you for your word because you speak, Father, in Romans 8, 22, and you say, likewise, the Spirit himself helps us in our own weaknesses, for we do not know how to pray, but the Spirit himself, he helps us in our own weaknesses. He intercedes for us. And we thank you, Father, as we are in the season of prayer and fasting, that the Spirit of the Lord, he helps us when we are weak. He gives us the strength to pray. He gives us the strength to fast. He gives us the strength to continue. He gives us the strength, Lord God Almighty, to represent that which the Lord God Almighty has called us to. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you that right now, in this moment, in this place, in the homes, in the name of Jesus, that the presence of the Holy Spirit begins to fall as in Acts chapter 2, when they were gathered together in one accord, in one place, Father, the Spirit of the Lord was poured upon their lives, and we speak the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon the church today. We speak the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon families today. We speak the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ, because when He comes, Jesus, when He comes, the Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of the Most High God, Father, we thank you right now that there is an outpouring of the Spirit, Lord. That there is an outpouring of the Spirit, Lord. That you begin to fill our hearts. That you begin to fill our lives with the Spirit of the Lord. The gift of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for your word. According to John 16 and verse 13, you speak, Father, that over the Holy Spirit, He guides us, Father, to all truth. And we thank you because Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And therefore, the Holy Spirit guides us to Jesus because Jesus is the truth. And the Holy Spirit guides us to the truth. And we thank you for the guidance of the Holy Holy Spirit, as we walk our Christian walk, as we pray in this season, in our Christian life, that the power of the Holy Spirit upon our lives as the church, upon our lives as individuals, will come Lord God, to give us the boldness, Father, to stand for what's right in our communities, that the Spirit of the Lord upon the church, Father, will push us, Father, to represent the kingdom of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that when we preach the gospel, when we go to win the souls, we have the anointing of the Holy Spirit, as in Acts chapter 10 and verse 38, as you speak in your word, and say how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit Spirit and power who went about doing good and healing all who were praised by the devil. Thank you for the anointing of the Holy Spirit, Father, upon the church. The anointing of the Holy Spirit upon every ministry in the church. The anointing of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus upon ministers of the word, upon worshippers. The anointing of the Holy Spirit upon fathers and mothers. The anointing of the Holy Spirit upon our young ones. So we may begin to see our children church bursting in the spirit of God because the anointing is being outpoured upon the church of the Lord in the name of Jesus Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your word. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your word. As we declare today, Father, we speak the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. We speak the outpouring of the Holy Spirit so that with the Spirit of the Lord, as you speak in First Corinthians 12, Father, that we may begin to see with the Holy Spirit, Father, the gifts that come with Him. As you say, He gives them, Lord God, willing as He wills. And we pray as a church that in the name of Jesus Christ, we will begin to see the manifestation of the gifts of the Spirit of God. We will begin to see the gifts of healings manifesting, Lord, through the gift of 
the Holy Spirit, we will begin to see further gifts of healings. We will see, begin to see signs and wonders. We will begin to see further in the name of Jesus Christ, the power of God, the word of wisdom, the word of knowledge. We will begin to see prophecies rising in the church of God. In the name of Jesus. Fill us, Holy Spirit. Fill us, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Right now in this place, Lord, in the homes, Holy Spirit, I speak in the name of Jesus. In new tongues. Tongues of fire. In the homes right now. In the name of Jesus. In the families right now. In the name of Jesus. In the church right now. Tongues of fire in the name of Jesus and the manifestation of the gift of the Lord, the Holy Spirit that dwells in the inside of us. Thank you Holy Spirit because you empower us. You empower us, Spirit of the Lord. You empower us to do the unspeakable. You empower us, Holy Spirit, to stand for what's right. You empower us, Father, in the name of Jesus, to rise to the governments so that the churches may be filled in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for your gift, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your gift, O oh God. In Jesus' name, thank you, Holy Spirit. But if Christ is in you, then even though your body is subject to death because of sin, the Spirit gives life. The Spirit gives life. The Spirit gives life. We thank you, Lord, for Romans 8 and verse 10 and 11, that the Spirit of the Lord gives us life. And we claim that life for the church. We claim that life for the sick. We claim that life in the name of Jesus for everyone suffering from cancer. Oh, my God. It doesn't matter what the doctor has said. Stage 4 cancer. Well, Father, they have been given a due date by the doctor. But we speak life that the Holy Spirit brings in the name of Jesus Christ. We speak life into every body stricken by COVID right now. Because your spirit, Father, according to your word, he gives us life. And we claim that life. We speak that life, Lord, over every sick body. We speak that life, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Over every sickness and disease that's manifesting itself in the church. We say in Jesus' name. The devil is a liar. And we thank you, Holy Spirit, that as you bring life to the church, that as you bring life to houses, as you bring life, Lord, to our communities, the spirit of death, in the name of Jesus, perishes, that every sickness, COVID, perishes in the name of Jesus, cancer, perishes in that you bring life, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because you enable us, Father, to bear fruits according to Galatians chapter 5. That we may begin to see the fruits of the Holy Spirit upon the church. That we may begin to see the gifts of the Holy Spirit upon the church. That love may endure, that peace may endure in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, then tell the boskay, Mandolo Bosette Lebeshi, Kim Mantele Labosa Tayaba Babaye, Kim Mantele Leboskaba. Thank you for your fruits, Holy Spirit. All oh, love, joy, peace, let Kebebe Shika kindness, goodness, let Kamando Lorobo Sataye. In the name of Jesus, faithfulness, gentleness, self control. Thank you, Lord, for your word. That the church today in South Africa, yet Good Hope Christian Center, in Africa, around the world, that we may begin to see the fruits of the Holy Spirit, that we may begin to see love in the name of Jesus, that we may begin to see peace, Lord. There are countries that are not at rest, wars breaking out. But peace is the fruit of the Spirit. 
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus thank you Lord God that right now in the church of God you will begin to uproot and remove anything and everything that hinders the move of the spirit of God we come against bitterness Lord we come against anger we come against Lord God Almighty every lie of the devil that he speaks to the church we come against Lord God Almighty strife any manner of ungodliness in the name of Jesus we come against it in the name of Jesus anything that quenches the spirit of God we come against it in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus please we thank you Holy Spirit we welcome you into our hearts we welcome you into our lounges Lord Jesus I thank you Father God your presence blows into each and every household father god a wind of your spirit that cannot be contained lord jesus oh welcome you holy spirit we welcome you holy spirit you are welcome it's come flood this place Fill the atmosphere Your glory, God, is what our hearts long To be overcome by your presence Lord, Holy Spirit, you are welcome Come
God, we just shake off every bondage, every limitation. We just run wholeheartedly into your presence, Father God. Into you, our Daddy. Oh, Father God. I just speak release into each and every household, Father release into the city of Cape Town. I speak peace, Father God, that surpasses all understanding and guards our hearts, Lord Jesus, that guards our doors, Father God, that your Holy Spirit goes with us. You are before us. <laughs> you are behind us and you are beside us, Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Let us never forget never forget you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Chi anda londo robo shihen? Chi anda lenda raba? Si anda londo robo shihen de lenda raba? Chi anda? Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We honor you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Lord, in the season, Lord, where we find ourselves with restrictions, Lord, we pray that your spirit can't be contained, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord, that our power, our source is in you, Lord Jesus. And even your word says that the same power that raised Jesus from the dead is living inside of us, Lord Jesus then there's nothing that is holding us back Lord Jesus there's nothing withholding us back Lord Jesus because you are the way you are the truth and you are the life Lord Jesus and when we call on you and when we accept you Lord there's only life Lord Jesus there's life Lord Jesus there's life Lord Jesus your spirit cannot be contained Lord Jesus it can't be contained Lord Jesus so we thank you for your gifts Lord the gifts that fill us up, Lord Jesus, and makes us new, Lord Jesus. When this world has brought us to bondage, Lord Jesus, has taken us through hurt and pain and sorrow, Lord, we pray, Lord, that your love, Lord Jesus, has filled us up, Lord Jesus. Your gift fills us up, Lord Jesus. In this time of prayer and fasting, we pray, Lord, that we stand on your word and we pray, Lord, that your spirit becomes life into our hearts, Lord Jesus. It brings life into our lives, Lord. Everything that's dead, Lord Jesus, will come to life, Lord. It doesn't matter what we're facing, Lord Jesus. We pray that our eyes are fixed on you, Lord. Our hearts are fixed on you, Lord Jesus. We pray that your power, Lord Jesus, your light will shine through us, Lord Jesus. We will be that vessel, Lord, that vessel, Lord Jesus, that will call you, Lord Jesus. Ask, seek, knock, Lord Jesus. But what we need right now is a touch, Lord. A touch from you, Lord Jesus. A touch, Lord. When you died, you, you, you didn't die for nothing, Lord Jesus. You died so that we can be victorious, Lord Jesus. You died so that we can rise above, Lord. So we pray that our strength is in you, Lord Jesus. Our strength is in you, Lord Jesus. And we honor you this evening. We honor you and we give you all praise, Lord Jesus. And we worship you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Wherever you are, whether you're at home, whether you're in this place, whether you're in your car, you're listening, you're watching, I just want you to just 
open up your heart and receive the Holy Spirit into your lives. Let Him give you a word. Let Him give you encouragement today because you might be facing some trials. You might be facing some tribulation. But the word of God is the light you need. Jesus said that I am the way. He said I am the light of the world. And if you abide in him and he is inside of you, then everything that you need can be birthed inside of you through him. But it's through him. It's through the mighty power. Through his power through his power that you have access to the kingdom of heaven it's through his power you have access to victory it's through his power you have access he gives you access so just open up your heart and receive him this evening let him have his way let his presence consume you like a fire let His Spirit come upon you. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy of all glory. There's none like you, our Father. There's none like you, our Father. We worship you. We worship you, Lord. Shanda lenda raba baba sihanda ki hende lenda raba shiende ma sihanda londo robo sihende We thank you Lord for this evening and as we leave and we we leave changed and touched by your word We pray Lord Jesus that you you refresh and you renew our hearts and our minds. You might have been praying for something. You might have been asking and asking and asking and asking. And you feel like nothing's changing. But the word says that there's a time and there's a season for your miracle to come. And it's on its way. His word stays the same. Even though our circumstances change. His word stays the same. When we are in pain and struggling, wherever you might be, His word is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So we thank you, Jesus, for every prayer we have here this evening, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord Jesus, that your word is a lamp unto our feet, a light unto our path, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you, Lord, has, have given us the power, Lord, to speak life into our situation, Lord Jesus, so that the situation might be taking a while to change, but the change will start in us, and we will speak into the atmosphere, and we will declare that your word, Lord Jesus, your word will love, Lord Jesus, and when we speak, and when we call, and when we ask, you will answer, Lord. So we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for every person, Lord, in, the, in, in this baskets this evening, Lord, that has put their prayer requests, Lord Jesus, before you, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord, that this prayer request is a cry, Lord Jesus. It's a call to you, Lord Jesus, asking for change, Lord Jesus, asking for a miracle, Lord Jesus. And us as witnesses in this place, Lord Jesus, we stand surety, Lord Jesus, that your word, Lord Jesus, your word will not come void, Lord Jesus. But Lord, you will be victorious, Lord, because the battle is yours, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord, that every sickness, every disease, Lord Jesus, every challenge of finance, Lord Jesus, unemployment, Lord Jesus, every battle, Lord Jesus, that might come, Lord Jesus, whether it's COVID, not COVID, Lord. 
We pray, Lord Jesus, that you said, Lord Jesus, that if we lay our hands on the sick, Lord, they will recover, Lord Jesus. When we pray, Lord Jesus, and when we see weakness, you see blessing, Lord Jesus. So we pray for blessing and increase, Lord Jesus, jobs and more jobs, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. And we give you all praise, glory, and honor. We thank you, Lord, and we honor you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And amen. Thank you, everybody, for joining us this evening. And if you'd like to give, you can get our information on the screen. Otherwise, have a blessed, blessed, blessed week. And we love you. And we appreciate your time. And we know that God sees your heart. And he will come. And you will enter and you will be blessed. Thank you. Enjoy.